What if I told you the leading cause of heart disease is something your body actually needs? Cholesterol has a bad reputation. It's often blamed for clogged arteries and heart attacks. But the truth is more complicated. Your body can't function without it. The real danger isn't cholesterol itself, but imbalance. And here's the scary part. When that balance tips, there are usually no warning signs. For many people, the first clue is a heart attack. In this video, we're unpacking cholesterol, what it really is, why it matters, and how you can take simple steps to protect your heart. Welcome to About Health. If you're ready to take control of your health, hit subscribe, and let's get started. Cholesterol is a waxy substance found in every cell of your body. It's essential for building cell membranes, producing hormones like estrogen and testosterone, and even making vitamin D. So no, cholesterol itself isn't the enemy. The trouble starts when the wrong type builds up in your bloodstream. You've probably heard of good and bad cholesterol, but what does that really mean? LDL cholesterol, the bad kind, acts like grit in your bloodstream. Over time, it sticks to artery walls, forming plaque. HDL cholesterol, the good kind, is like the cleanup crew. It sweeps up extra cholesterol and carries it back to the liver for disposal. The formula is simple. Keep LDL low and HDL high. But you can't feel your levels change. Only a blood test can tell you the truth. When LDL builds up, it triggers a process called atherosclerosis. Arteries harden and narrow, blood flow is reduced, and your risk of heart attack, stroke, and peripheral artery disease rises. And because high cholesterol usually has no symptoms, it can silently cause damage for years before being discovered. How is cholesterol measured? The only way to know your numbers is through a blood test called a lipid panel. It checks. Total cholesterol should be under 200 mg per deciliter. LDL cholesterol optimal is under 100 mg per deciliter. HDL cholesterol higher is better. Aim for 60 mg per deciliter or higher. Triglycerides normal is under 150 mg per deciliter. Experts recommend getting a baseline test by age 20, then repeating it every 4 to 6 years. If you have risk factors, you'll need it more often. Risk increases with a diet high in saturated and trans fats, little exercise, being overweight, smoking, diabetes, or a family history of heart disease. That's exactly why regular testing is so important, even if you feel perfectly fine. Here's the good news. Lifestyle changes can make a real difference. Eat smart. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, nuts, and healthy fats like olive oil. Cut back on red meat, full-fat dairy, fried and processed foods. Get active. At least 30 minutes of brisk walking most days. Quit smoking. It boosts your HDL almost immediately. Manage weight. Even small losses can improve your cholesterol profile. For some, genetics play a major role. Lifestyle helps, but it's not always enough. That's where medications come in. Statins are the most common and highly effective at lowering LDL and reducing heart attack risk. Other options include azetamibe and PCSK9 inhibitors. Your doctor will recommend what fits your situation. Cholesterol isn't the enemy, imbalance is. And since it often has no symptoms, your best defense is regular testing combined with healthy habits. Here's the bottom line. High cholesterol is common, hidden, and serious but also preventable and treatable. By taking action now, you can protect your heart for the long run. What about you? Have you ever had your cholesterol checked? Share your experience in the comments below. If this video helped, give it a like, subscribe to About Health, and share it with someone you care about. Stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay informed. Stay healthy.